Okay, today I'm going to do a video. Yesterday I did a live in a group and I ended up trying out my stick tight and quick to quick coat just kind of randomly to see how it would go. Um, I did this one with the stick tight and quick to quick coat. My goodness, that's tough to say. Um, but I did it with a brush and I don't really like that I can see the brush strokes, even though it's been stated that you won't be able to see the brush strokes. So when I applied my quick coat to this one yesterday, this is only one layer. I need to do a second layer yet, but um, I used a gloved finger and it worked just as well. Um, I have apparently a storyboard problem because I am using the stick tight and quick coat on all my storyboards here lately because I have a huge problem with my epoxy repelling on the stainless steel part. Pardon my, uh, stand, my spray painted fingers and stuff. But every time I do one of these, I was having to babysit it and hit it with heat and smooth it with my silicone brush. The problem is, is these are plastic. You can't do so much with that. Like, I don't know, like I, I was constantly afraid that I'd be melting my plastic when I would hit it with heat and kind of pull the epoxy back. So I'm super excited that we now have a solution. But in order to do the quick coat, you have to do the stick tight too. So I'm gonna finish this one in a second. The one thing that I have that might be helpful to you is these. I got them at Dollar Tree a long time ago. They're like pencil holders or something, but they work great when you're trying to get something to dry. So it just sits there like that. However, I can only get, I think I have five and I can't find them anymore. So look at your Dollar Trees, snag some of these if you can. So all you do is, this is a storyboard tumbler that I did last evening and it needs to be cleaned. So I essentially look at the stick tight as being a cleaner. It's gonna get anything nasty off of the surface that might technically repel the epoxy. Now this stuff is good for um, like chunky glitter and um, anything else like the marble paints that are gonna create fish eyes. I had a horrible time with marble paints and I didn't realize that this is why. Um, I didn't dump it back into the original container. I just put it in this little container, but a little bit goes a long way. All you do, is you clean it. You take your little brush and you go over the whole thing. You don't want it to dry, but you need to get it clean. After this, I have the whole thing kind of cleaned. Definitely want to make sure I'm going over the rims because they, uh, they're the problem parts. So then this bowl, the big one, has a little bit of water in the bottom of it and all you do is rinse it. I tried to look up videos for this stuff and I wasn't able to find it. I had to like go on the group on Facebook to find out how to use this stuff. So that's why I decided I needed to upload this to my channel, my YouTube channel. Um, you also, you can purchase this at counterculturediy.com. Um, they have amazing products. I recently switched over to their epoxy because of um, it being summertime. Now we're in September, but it was summertime and everybody was talking about how they accidentally leave cups in cars and things like that. Well, this is, the epoxy is good up until like 500 degrees or something crazy like that. And um, it's also UV resistant. So that means that hopefully it won't turn as yellow as quick with the other ones. Um, and then at this point, you're supposed to take a lint-free towel, which I don't have those things around here. I have children and a cat. And so I used a regular bounty paper towel. Just don't use cheap paper towels. The bounty paper towel worked great for me last night and I just, I'm wiping it clean. And that's pretty much it. It's nice and dry. Now at this point, I'm gonna take my glove and get the other stuff ready, the quick coat. Okay, so at this point, I'm ready for my quick coat and I put a little bit in a cup and I'm gonna do the same technique that I did yesterday and just dip my finger and pull it across. Now there is a step to this that you are going to need a hair dryer because it will try to not stick to the stainless steel. So I'm gonna to have to grab my hair dryer in a sec. I just wanna get this started. Don't forget the bottom. So as your quick coat starts to try and dry, it's gonna try and pull away from your stainless steel. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my hair dryer and show you how you're supposed to kind of force it dry and stretch it out. Okay, so how I do this is, it would be easier to have it on a turner, but 
This is all you do. Once it stops moving on you, you just kind of force it to dry the rest of the way. And then that's it. You just let it sit for a little bit and go on to your next one. So I'm hoping that protecting my cups like this is going to really, really help keep from these things to keep happening. I'm kind of over this major fish eyes and stuff like that. So quick coat and stick tight are super great for this. Thank you so much.